All right, let's look at this thing. Okay, so brand new IPv6. I swear, IPv6 has been being adopted longer than Grand, Grand Theft Auto 6 has been being created. This has to be the longest adoption of any technology I've ever seen. A critical vulnerability has been identified in the Windows TCP IP stack that allows for unauthenticate, unauthenticated remote code execution. No user interaction required, making this a zero-click vulnerability. <sighs> when will people learn? When will people learn? Just use Linux. You know what I'm talking about? <laughs> mm. Oh, I hope it doesn't exist in Linux. I mean, sure, my audio doesn't work all the time. And sure, video sometimes isn't that great. And there is that one time that I plugged in my HDMI cable and I had a, a kernel panic just recently. But, you know, besides for that, it's really good. And screen tearing, I still have screen tearing. You know, it's just is. And my mouse sometimes disappears. But that's not a big deal. This vulnerability affects all supported versions of Windows and Windows servers. This remote, okay, Windows servers, that's, that's on you, dog. If you're using Windows Server, that's on you. This remote code vulnerability enables unauthenticated attackers to repetitively send IPv6 packets that include special crafted packets to a Windows machine, which could enable remote code execution. I would be really shocked if you could just send repetitive packets without special crafting them to get remote code execution. That would be kind of wild, right? So I'm happy that at least it requires some level of special packet crafting. I hope that there's actually a full report of what it is. Uh, currently patching a couple hundred Windows servers against this while watching. Really? <laughs> hey, bless your soul, my friend. How do you, uh, what, what, what's the patch? Is the patch just an update or is the patch like you just have to turn off IPv6? Can you even turn off IPv6? I think there's, someone was just saying there's uh, required functionality. Yeah, disable. I mean, I thought there was required functionality. Uh, or is there a Windows update? The patch is Linux. Is the patch just Debian? Depends on the device. Dang. Okay. IPv7 went. If IPv4 was so good, why'd they make, why didn't they make IPv5? Uh, some devices don't run Linux. Yeah, I've heard about this. Mostly my mom's computer does not run Linux. Uh, Microsoft has released an urgent security patch and recommends to install it ASAP. Okay, so at least there's already a patch out. So, it, I mean, that's good. This uh, It has been assigned a CVSS score of 9.8. Wow. That's like super ultra duper duper big, right? Because a seven is considered pretty out of control, if I'm not mistaken. Is, is that true? And then like an eight is, and these things run off the Richter scale. So a 9.8 is, it, is 10 times more powerful than an 8.8, right? It's like the Richter scale, yeah. Was there ever a 10? It's gravitational, yeah. It's correct. It's like wildly, wildly out of control. It's very, very high. That's, that's crazy. So something we were looking at earlier is using us uh, uh, CVEs as a as a method to exploit open source software uh, to like effectively exhaust the maintainer to get in malicious code. And we saw one that was like a really it wasn't even a security vulnerability, but it was reported with one with like over a score of eight. I know these things can be really detrimental, but I'm I'm just shocked that it's a I mean a nine point eight is pretty pretty high with low complexity to exploit can be performed unauthenticated and exploit remotely. Dang. Successful exploitation leads to system-level execution on target endpoint. Dang. I wonder if this is the reason for CrowdStrike. This might be the reason for something like CrowdStrike, right? Don't, you know, there's a lot of great, there's a lot of great people working at CrowdStrike, okay? Sure, they got to get a better release process, but that's about it. I mean, who hasn't taken down production? At least once. All right. Cybermax is monitoring the situation and providing updates to customers as new information becomes available. We are currently recommending organizations apply the patches provided by Microsoft. Oh, I'd apply those immediately. That sounds like an immediate apply. This vulnerability is... What about all the people that have older versions of Windows? I assume there's a bunch of older version of Windows systems. Yeah, I've taken down Prod. You've already taken down Prod? Dang. So this is this is pretty serious. There's a lot of people in chat already talking about that. you got to break, break a few million eggs to make breakfast. It's true. This vulnerability can only be exploited by specifically crafted IPv6 packets sent uh, to be sent to the vulnerable endpoint. We recommend disabling IPv6 if it's not business business critical to reduce the attack surface. Okay, okay, let's let's see what we got in here. Let's see: attack vector, network complexity low, privileges required none, user interaction none, scope unchanged, confident uh, conf confidentiality high, integrity high, availability high. Dang, exploit. Code maturity, unproven, remediation level, official fix, report confidence confirmed. Dang. Okay, so it is It is like fully, fully out there. And this is just reported. Wow, that's pretty That's pretty amazing that Microsoft, I'm curious how much Microsoft had uh, a heads up on this. Because that, that it's pretty wild that if, if, 
Because I, I assume they must have had some sort of some sort of pr- pr- prior reporting. Uh, probably a lot since it's already fixed. Yeah, because if they didn't have prior reporting, it, pretty amazing to get a fix out that quick. So they must have had a. I wonder how long it's been out there. It'd be kind of interesting to see like date when first understood or first found. Man who found a, a vulnerability. Oh, really? Fix the RCB bug in the TCP IO module. I found this bug several months ago. It scored a 9.8, and exploitation is more likely. Please apply the patch immediately. Wow. Considering its harm, I will not disclose more details in short term. In the short term. Yeah, that's fair. I mean, that's fair. I'd love to see. I, 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 dude, I think a write-up on this would be so cool to see how they're doing. The, I love the memory layout write-ups on these kind of things because it's actually really, really incredible. So hopefully, uh, if any of y'all have to go fix all this, so, sorry that you guys have to fix this. And I guess, let's see, let's look at this thing. This is kind of like the last one on it. Here's a little bit more information. Uh, Microsoft has released an urgent security update to address a critical remote execution vulnerability on the Windows TCP IP stack. The flaw uh, tracked as this CSV or CVE, we've already read, uh, affects all supported Windows. All right, we've already talked about that. An attacker can remotely exploit this vulnerability by setting, yep, crafted ones, no user interaction. Okay, so this is just a restating of everything. Uh, Microsoft has rated the vulnerability as exploitation more likely. Yeah, now that people know that it's out there, I'm sure there's a bunch. Of, there's a whole bunch of racing going on. Here's a question for you guys: How long ago do you think the government knew about this exploit? Do you think there exists some sort of internal registry where the government's just like, "Damn, they found our next back door." All right, everybody, let's get the fix out. Let's get the fix out, everybody. Let's get the fix out, and we'll get a new one. Alex Jones speaking. Oh yeah, hell yeah. I remember someone coming to my uh, computer science uh, class and it was talking about security. And he's just like, all right, the government recommends your quantum secure in your encryption by 2026. And by the way, this was like 2010, 2011 when this happened. And he, was, and he responds with, so if they recommend it by 2026, they probably are, since they are making a recommendation, they probably already have current RSA broken. So you should probably update as soon as possible because by 2026, everybody's going to be owning you. But within the next couple of years, the government currently owns you. So you should upgrade as soon as possible. <laughs> Let's see, which part of the government? NSA, 10 years ago. Parts of the government that run social security, banking, education, sometime next year. <laughs> yes. Yes, those ones are definitely different. Uh, one, of my, uh, one of my in-laws, sole purpose at his G job is to exploit, uh, to exploit vulnerabilities to help find criminals. That's cool. That's a cool job. Good on that guy. I hope he I hope he finds those those hackers. That's that'd be good. Did you see the Crown Strike Cyber Bowling the uh, the the Clown Strike site owner? No, I haven't seen that. All right. Anyways, pretty 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 wild. It's the more I read about sec- uh, security problems, and the more we've been getting into this, because at this point we read one like what once a week. I guess I just never really thought about how fragile the actual system is. It's like everywhere. It's everywhere, nonstop, at all times. What are you playing? Minecraft remote code execution. What is that? Your login remote code execution. What is that? You got. You got. You're gonna use the internet that was invented decades ago. IPv6 in- injected. <laughs> it's just like holy cow. This is just. This is wild. Uh, you remember that certain encryptions were illegal in the U.S. <laughs> that that that's. You know what? Here's the thing is if you used an illegal encryption and then afterwards the government came up to you and said, hey, by the way, we've noticed you've used an illegal encryption. You'd be like, wait a second. How do you know I've used the illegal encryption? How do you know that I know that this was illegal and that I'm using it? Something about that. Something about that smells fishy. All right. Hey, the name is sorry. Hey, for those that have, are currently updating devices right now, hey, sorry that you're in, that you're enjoying a day of updates, especially especially if you just got done. I, you know who I really feel bad for right now is the 40,000 machine Delta airline people that just got done manually restarting all of Delta's all of Delta's CrowdStrike takedown just for one week later for some person to call up and be like, "Hey, by the way, you got to uh, you got to do it again. Got to restart all of them and update them." Yep, gotta do that right now. Okay, hey, thanks. Hey, thanks. Goodbye. Goodbye, IT guy. I love you. Dude, they're getting owned. Windows servers are getting owned right now. And wasn't there also a Microsoft outage on Thursday right before the CrowdStrike one? If I'm not mistaken, there was a uh, Windows outage uh, right before uh, CrowdStrike. 
which people misattributed uh, to CrowdStrike. I don't know if I can find it. Dude, there's, there's too much. I can't use the word Windows and CrowdStrike. It's just not, I'm not going to be able to find that problem. But I'm pretty sure there was one right beforehand that also Microsoft accidentally caused or had some, some known causage with it. Uh, anyways, hey, sorry for you guys. I'm sorry that because I know there was someone in our chat that had 5,000 machines. They had to restart. So, hey, sorry. It was an Azure outage. That's right. It was an Azure problem. So, yeah, I mean, just like tough days for you. Not only do you get Azure problems, you get hit with CrowdStrike. Then you get hit with IPv6. Man, tough days for you guys. Hey, sorry, Microsoft. Have you considered using Vim on Debian? Let's go. Let's go. A chat. 